Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Ferranti, as part of America's Water Infrastructure Act of 2018, Congress established a drinking water system infrastructure, resiliency, and sustainability program at EPA. Uh, this was based on legislation I worked on called the Water Infrastructure Resilience and Sustainability Act, also known as WRSA. The program's purpose is to help small drinking water systems make their infrastructure resilient to natural hazards, including those associated with climate change and extreme weather. Do you believe it is important important to also advance policies to ensure the nation's wastewater infrastructure is similarly prepared to withstand the effects of climate change and extreme weather? And what sort of resilience and adaptation challenges are you facing at your util utility? Thank you for that question uh, and, and thank you for your leadership on the issue and to answer your question is absolutely uh, wastewater treatment plants and utilities uh, need to be included. Uh, we do have our uh, uh, own uh, unique challenges when it comes to climate change, uh, and uh, we're seeing a number of impacts. Um, I think some of the other speakers before talked about infiltration and inflow into sewer systems that occurs during rainfall events, and what we're seeing here in even in Southern California, we're seeing less rain, but when it rains, it rains very powerfully, uh, very locally, and can inundate uh, sewer systems. Um, and we've had uh, also, even though our overall flow is down, uh, as I mentioned before, because of water conservation, we're seeing some of these big storms can uh, really uh, tax our whole system. Uh, and that's one reason why we really had to uh, look at our overall capacity as well. So there's a number of issues there. And then of course, uh, we all know the number of people that live in coastal communities around, uh, not only in California, but around the country. And uh, those areas are not only seeing, you know, potentially the effects of sea level rise, but storm surges are becoming more and more significant. And when you now uh, couple a flooding event uh, flooding a sewage pumping plant that's along the coast, now you've really uh, created a bad problem and made it worse when you've mixed in, uh, unfortunately, wastewater. So there's a number of acti activities. We, we have started looking and doing our own assessments at our treatment plants. We're gonna try and do our complete system uh, here in the next uh, couple of years in terms of what we have to do but uh, by all means, if there could be a incentive and uh, funding for wastewater utilities to do that, especially the smaller ones that don't have the expertise in-house to do it, that would be, that would be very helpful because obviously uh, uh, now these systems are so integrated too when you talk about recycled water that it's not just a wastewater, it, it could be something that is a new supply and a recycled water and leads to drinking water. So there. Thank really you, Mr. Ferranti. Uh, 